Hello guys, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about record summary template. This is the third type of template that is available. Now, what this template will help you with is basically it will help you to create a record summary. Now, on a particular record, there can be hundreds of fields and not every field you have to look at it before you have to make a decision. Let's say on the opportunity object, there are certain fields that you're interested in. And rather than glancing through those fields, if let's say there is a place where you can get a quick summary of that opportunity record, wouldn't that be great? And that is exactly what this record summary template does. It creates a concise overview of the key information of your record. The record summary template in Salesforce is designed to provide a concise overview of a record's key information. Now, what is the purpose? It helps users quickly understand the most important details about the record without having to sift through all the data. So instead of going through each and every field, there is going to be a place where you can get a quick summary of the whole record. The template pulls together essential information from various fields and presents it in a summarized format. So from various pieces of information, it is going to gather all the information and create a summary of all that data. This can include things like record status, key dates, important notes, and any other critical data points. So what will it do is it will save you a lot of time and effort to glance through all the fields where you can just look at the summary and you will know what this record is all about. Template is particularly useful for getting a quick snapshot of a record, making it easier to make informed decisions or updates. So it will save you a lot of time and uh, you can get a quick summary. So let's go ahead and create this template within Salesforce. So I'll go over to my Salesforce here and we'll go over to the prompt builder. We'll set up and uh, we'll go to prompt builder and we'll click on creating a new prompt. So we'll click on new prompt template. And what is the template type this time? I'm going to use record summary. And the name, I'm gonna say case summary. So this is going to create a summary of case records based on whichever fields you think are important. You can similarly create opportunity summary, account summary, whatever. So we are creating a case summary here. And what is the object type? It is case going to be the object type. And uh, what it is going to do is it is create a key, create a summary of the case record using essential fields. Hit next here and this is all ready. Okay, so here the prompt template workspace, I'm going to provide a prompt here so here is my prompt template workspace. So I'm going to say, use the following information to create a summary of the record. Okay, so here I'm going to say case number, case status, case priority, case type, case subject, case description. So whichever fields you think you want to create a summary of, right? Case comments. And uh, let's say case product. Or we can say this one. And pretty much this is all we need. Case status, case number is there, case priority is there, case type is there, subject is there, description is there, comments is there, and product is there. Okay, so we are good. Now we will populate all these fields with the placeholder. So I'm going to go ahead and get the case number. There is a field available called case number. Similarly, I'm going to go ahead and cut this and place it over here. Case status. There is a field on the case object called as status. So I'm going to go ahead and get that. There is a field on the case object called priority. So we're going to go ahead and grab priority also. The type here. So there is a field available on the case called as type. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go to the case first, not to the current user. We go to the case and we go to the case type. Then subject here, there is a field available on the case called as subject. There's also a field on the case called description. So we're going to go ahead and uh, use this case comments. So we have two type of comments here. One is internal comments and then there is the actual comments. We'll use this one and then you have the product. So on the case object, we have a field called as product. 
So that is it. So using this information, it is going to create a summary. Now you can pass in a case record. We have already created one. Let's say we have, uh, let's say we use this one. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and first save this. The model that we're going to use is 3.5 turbo, which is fine. We're going to go ahead and preview it. And it is going to create a summary of the record. Okay. So based on the provided information, the summary of the record with case number 1029 is as follows. The case is new with a high priority and falls under the electronic category. The subject of the case is this having issues with my iPhone 12 where the iPhone has stopped working with an update and is displaying a black screen. No comments are currently recorded for this case. The product associated with the case is this. Now I it's okay response. Let's change the model to open GPT-4 and let's see what the response is. And this is our response. Case number pertains to a high priority issue with iPhone 12 categorized under the electronic case type. The issue arose following a recent update resulting in a black screen on the device. This is better, right? So now this is my summary. So instead of going through the whole case details, we just look at this one particular thing and this is not something that's going to be saved onto a particular field. Now in the case of field generation, what was happening was we had a field and that field was populated with data with the help of Einstein, right? Here we are not populating the data in a field. We are creating a record summary. That record summary is generated on the fly and it you can display it onto uh, or through a screen flow or whatever. You can display it and you can just use it. It's not being saved in a particular field. So that is a major difference between record summary and the field generation. In the field generation, a field is being populated with data. Here, there is no field that is being populated. Here, the summary of the record is being created based on whichever critical fields you think are important and you're creating a summary. Now, how do I display this summary onto my record, right? So if I go to a case record, let's say when I open up a case record, I want to see the summary somewhere, right? So what you can do is you can create a flow, a screen flow, let's say, and this is one of the ways, there are multiple ways of showing information, but one of the way is creating a flow, creating a screen flow, and on that screen flow, you can call this prompt. Prompt in the back end has been converted into an action, okay? And you can use that action, get the response and show that response in a screen flow. How do I do that? I'm going to show you in the next video. So stay tuned for that. Thank you very much.